What's going on, Mafia? So, uh, January 15th, catching up on the uh, Marketing Mondays. We'll have 52 Marketing Mondays that we will do 2018. Today I did three to catch up from the 1st, 8th, and then now the 15th. And then every Monday, I'll do about a 15, 20-minute segment called Marketing Mondays. Marketing Mondays to help you grow your business <clears throat> in ways that uh, shouldn't cost you any money. It'll probably take some time, but won't cost you any money. So today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, one of only four people whose birthday is commemorated by a holiday. Lincoln, Washington, and Jesus were the other three. So just let that sink in for a moment. I want my birthday to be commemorated in a holiday when I die. Gary Guyman Day, G. G money. All right, so let's talk about Marketing Mondays, finding email address sources. Email is one of the most popular ways or one of the um, most popular things that I push in terms of ways to build your business without utilizing funds. Email marketing is that. I posted a, uh, a tip in the Mafia earlier today on how to prospect utilizing a CRM. We do this with Responsibid. Set up a status that's prospect, fill that prospect with follow-up emails and your delivery sequences, load your email addresses, and let it do the work. So you need email addresses. you got to have the email addresses. So I'm going to show you a way, no matter where, I misspelled association, but oh well, where you are, what business you're in, what it is you do, this is a way that you can find email addresses, all right? So we go to the National Association of Realtors. And realtors are a great way to sell any service business, any service business whatsoever. Um, obviously, finding realtors who sell a lot of houses will send you a lot more business, but being in the pocket of any realtor is good. It's good. And um, if they try to get money from you, it's illegal. It's a violation of RESPA. Send them to prison and go on to the next one. I'm kidding. Don't, don't send them to prison, but know that they're an idiot. Um, so what we want to do is we want to find um, we, we want to find a real we want to find a realtor email address. And the great thing about realtors are um, they want you to to have their email address. They they want you to. Um, so they will they will publish and advertise it and. We are thankful for that. So sometimes you got to look around for this stuff. Um, if you clicked on these up here, this is for NAR members. This would make you have to put in a username and password. So you don't want to do that. We don't want to have to have a username and password. But if you scroll up a little bit and you look right over here for non-members, find a realtor. Boom. They want you to find a realtor. Such so nice of them. So, uh, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're searching. A lot of these uh, search mechanisms will limit your searches. This right here says results are limited to 100 entries, and they are. Um, so you, you want to you want to look it up in uh, in ways that will um, help you find specific numbers. So let's say we are in um, West Palm Beach. Florida. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search starting last name A. I'm just going to leave everything else blank. Um, I'm not going to click on anything else. Last name A, my city, my state. I'm not in West Palm Beach, but I would like to be. Um, how cold is it right now? Probably warm as Let's just see. This greater Cincinnati, it is 26 degrees and it's snowing. Yes, I want to be in West Palm Beach. Okay. So I'm going to search last name A, city is West Palm Beach, state is Florida, leave everything else unchecked, find a realtor. And you must specify at least two characters. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to do, let's see, A, B, 
So A, B, if it was easy, anybody could do it. If it was easy, anybody could do it. Received zero, retrieved zero records. So that's fine. I'm going to go back. Send. I'm going to go A, D, which would be like Adam. Well, we'll do A, C first. A, C. Turn to search form. I wonder if I leave it open. Let's see. Let me try this. In ours, in my area, I can leave it open. Let's see. Find a realtor. Boom. There we go. <clears throat> That's why Alvarez is the first one listed. Okay. So go in. Um, and as long as you're not live on Facebook showing everybody else how to do this, <laughs> you'll get you'll get in. <laughs> um see and basically it'll take you to every realtor in that city and state man somebody's thumbs up on me to death right now um you'll see every realtor in that city and state when you click on that realtor it's going to give you their name um their phone numbers uh including a cell and um and an email address and those are those are all ways that uh you can utilize to get um to get business. Um, so utilize this as a way to build your email address uh, database. There's also, and I guarantee I just, just Googled on my phone here. I guarantee it's because I'm Facebook Live. Thanks, Roger. Um, I wonder... I wonder if IREM will do it as well. So National Association of Realtors is one. Um, check that out. And then we'll show you one other one. Now, again, you're either going to spend money or you're going to spend time. You're either going to spend money or you're going to spend time. So if your time isn't worth it to you, then spend the money to get this stuff. If your time... Uh, if you have the time, then spend the time to get this information. Go up here to membership. All right, go up here to membership. This is the Institute of Real Estate Management. And what we want to do is we want to find their directory. And, and these guys are slick, man. They move their stuff around all the time. Um, so sometimes I have to have to get funky with them and... Uh, Get funky fresh. Here we go. We'll go to credentials. Um, Let's see if I can. Um, and they changed it again. Let's see. Membership home. Let's try membership home. It's not membership home. Benefits of membership. On demand. Whew. There we go. Whew. Slow me down, but you can't keep me out. So you find the IREM directory. You find the IREM directory, the Institute of Real Estate Management directory, and you find an individual IREM member. Now, this might not let me in, but you guys can do the search and go through it. Since I'm on Facebook Live, it sees that I have some type of bot out there, but I don't want to put any first last name information in. All I want to do is I want to put in my state. I search this by state because it's going to come up a lot. Let's see. So I want to leave in member type open. I don't want to, I don't want to, constrict my searches let's see if they have a oh they took me to here so these are all IREM so these are Institute of Real Estate Management and uh, Institute of Real Estate Management so these are your property managers these are all kinds of individuals and if you go to uh, a live event um, that I speak at I'll talk about IREM I'm actually going to be rolling out a couple different resources that I'll be providing, uh, be at ICE at the uh, beginning of February. 
and this is, uh, I'll talk about IREM, I'll talk about a couple other different resources, but today on Marketing Monday, you got two, you got National Association of Realtors, that directory, as well as the IREM, just don't get on here when you are on Facebook Live, because they might keep you out, let's see if they'll let us in today, so Shelly Arnold, who is a CPM candidate, which is a certified property manager candidate, Shelby Arnold, let's see if they're going to let me in, they let me in. So they don't have a, uh, a CAPTCHA on here to make sure you're not a bot. But it gives us her email address. It gives us her office phone and who she works for. So she works for a pretty decent-sized property management company in Louisville, PMR Companies, or as I like to call them, Loser Bill. Loser Bill. Loser Bill. <laughs> Should have worn my Rip Patino shirt today. Go Cats, baby. Um, but anyway, so Shelby Arnold works for PMR Companies LLC. She is a candidate for a certified property manager. So I'm going to guess she's either a property manager or, or an assistant property manager. And she would go, she is on our list, but she, if I was building the list, she would go on my list. Roger Dean Pryor, do you do marketing for other companies? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, we're good. Anyway, uh, if you have questions, Roger. PM me and uh, we can answer those questions for you. Um, but if you take the time to get into your National Association of Realtors, search your cities that you market in and want to be in, um, put together that email address list for your real estate agents, and then uh, property managers put together that list, you're going to build yourself a really big list. Like I said, my wife is working on our Cincinnati area board of realtors list. She's in the B's, not even, I think she's at like 300 right around 300. There's, there's a ridiculous amount of real estate agents in our market. Um, we service uh, a one and a half million population. And I think we got about 1.2 million realtors. Uh, maybe not 1.2 million, but it's a lot. I, I bet you there's 5,000 licensed realtors in our area. Now, that doesn't mean they're all selling property, but it's people. It's people you can connect with. When I market to realtors, I don't just get them to refer me business. Guess what? They buy from me. They want me. They want me to do business with them, right? So I have. Uh, we have realtors that want to do business with us. We have realtors that um, will refer us business. We have. Uh, we have realtors that uh, that send us to people, and then we have those realtors that um, think that we should be a lot cheaper, and we aren't. It doesn't matter as long as I can continue to market to them, and I build up that email presence and I hit them at perfect times and I provide them with credible information, then eventually when they need me, they're going to reach out to me. So build your list. You got January. Um, heck, it's snowing today. So if you were in my market, you could be like uh, somebody I know sitting over there <clears throat> putting together some email address lists and having a good old time. A good old time. So if you have any questions about these lists, let me know. Um, again, don't try to access the National Association of Realtors while you're Facebook Live. We found that out today. Um, and then I gave you, because I felt bad and I wanted to show you something else, I gave you the Institute of Real Estate Management. Two gold mines. Two gold mines. Use those and be successful. Go tell your friends uh, and the other groups uh, if you are – uh, carpet cleaner, window cleaner, pressure washer, uh, pest control, uh, painter, uh, any service industry business. Go get in your groups. Tell them about the marketing mafia. Have them join the marketing mafia. My goal in 2018 is to get to 10,000 strong. We're at 2,500. We're a quarter of the way there. If everybody in the group went invited four, guess what? I'd be at 10,000. Boom. And the marketing mafia is only going to get better as we add more people. 3 p.m. today, I'm going to be introducing a couple of things that we're doing to make it even better uh, and some opportunities uh, for you to grow your business. So I look forward to seeing you guys at 3. Can't wait. Till now and then, get some email addresses and let's make some money.